We have a massive carbon problem. Everyone is aware of that. One of the big pieces is transition our energy grid away from fossil fuels. BDC decided to meet with entrepreneurs who share the same ambition, to do things differently. By impacting the future, these visionaries are proof that change is happening now. I'm here to meet with James Larson, CEO of Easing, a company and an entrepreneur dedicated to redefine sustainable energy. We're here at Easing. You're dreaming of uh, at least contributing to a carbon-free world. We have a massive carbon problem. Everyone is aware of that. We're really going to need a massive amount of renewable energy. But the thing is that when we get to really high penetrations of renewable energy, the traditional types of energy storage technologies to balance it become inadequate. That's why there's such a great opportunity for e-zinc and our storage technology, because it will necessitate long duration storage assets capable of bridging multiple days of low or no generation. Why zinc? Why batteries and how do you do this? Zinc has an incredible set of electrochemical properties. And when, when our founder was looking at different types of materials to be an energy carrier, like a fuel, zinc it outperforms on all of the major dimensions. But there's some other really significant benefits. Number one is it's very low cost. Number two is that it's quite a sustainable materials. About 40% of the world's annual zinc consumption comes from the recycling markets. So we're, we're not having to necessarily harvest a lot of zinc out of the earth to provide it. And of the zinc that does get harvested, it often piggybacks off of other metals that are already being mined. So its impact is much less. How can this new technology, when you and I will be able to use it or, or the industry will be able to use it, this will make a difference and an impact how for Canada? Anyone who's using a diesel generator or something of that, that nature as a form of backup power. Right? So think of data centers or hospitals or telecommunications towers. We can be a clean alternative to that. The second would be remote applications. So think of remote mining operations like in Northern Canada or uh, our indigenous communities. You know, Canada has over 300 truly remote communities that are powered entirely by diesel. Have you quantified uh, the potential contribution of e-zinc into uh, reduction of GHG? It's very hard to, to, to forecast, but we are one of the winners of Breakthrough Energy Solutions Canada. One of the, the criteria of that competition was to prove that we had the ability to reduce the world's GHG consumption by half a gigaton by 2050. We passed that criteria, so I think that we have uh, an opportunity to play a very important role in decarbonizing our world. The world needs more people who are willing to step out of the corporate world and get into the entrepreneurial game and looking to innovate new solutions and take on some of the big challenges that, that we have. We are at a pivotal point in society. We have tons of different challenges that we're facing and we need people, smart people, to be thinking about the solutions to these challenges. It's gonna happen by bringing all these people together to think of the solutions to solve these problems.